Hello, hello, hello. So one month ago, I did a recording for cancer. And because probably I have pattern with my third house cost. Everything was recorded, but without a sound, really. So about restrictions about me communicating really came true. Because that's my chart. So me here communicating and sending this out into the world without having any clue who's going to hear it and not get getting any permission uh, or uh, recognition for it is my way of also really living my Saturn and overcoming my fears there and just doing it. Anyways, I'm going to try again. I hope now my Saturn is a little more gentle. I do have somebody working over there making a lot of noise, dogs barking everywhere, but anyway. Cancer, no matter which planets you have in there, still is the sign where you can grow exponentially. Is why Jupiter is exalted in Cancer. You can, your your it's your very sensitive, your your sensitivity, and at the same time, your greatest strength. Wherever you have Cancer, and yes, Cancer, the Cancer energy is very sensitive um, they feel a lot they sense a lot they are very intuitive can be very moody but at the same time is no weakness they're very strong you really don't mess around with a cancer you know they they you cannot just push them over or they will not do something they really don't feel good with they're very it's a water sign they're very uh, emotional and intuitive, like I said, they're also uh, starters. They there's a lot of change in their lives. You know, like the crap in the water going with the tides. It's ruled by the moon. You know, the tides. There's a lot of change, but they really prefer predictable change. So, like if they have to move a lot, and they know in front they have to move. Um, on the other hand, there is also a lot of unpredictable crisis in their lives. Um, they have the need to nurture, to protect, to defend, you know, the mother-like quality, even when you're, a, I mean, it doesn't mean you have to be a woman to have these qualities, no? Um, so, let me see. When it's about, uh, it rules everything about protection. So also, you know, schools and the teachers and nursing homes and, of course, the mother. And but also like dogs, you know, they are the protector of the home. They are very attached to their to their motherland, uh, their country. Um, they like the tradition and uh, the folklore about it and the history about it and their family line. It's very hard for them if they have to, for any reason, um, and it will take the time to, to break these bonds. They, they will not easily do that only when, you know, life forces them and also when, you know, um, they have a lot of other planets changing the direction of their life than of what I'm talking about now. So this cancer energy that I'm talking about is mainly felt when it's your ascendant. Um, also when it's your sun, but then maybe people will not uh, see you like that. It's more like how you know yourself and how your inner circle knows you. But the ascendant is more like how your life path that you're walking, how it unfolds, how people see you. Um, the private life of 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 uh, cancers is kind of sacred. Um, they are very protective of their privacy and their little family. So, what else? Well, cancer rules um, the nurturing organs, the breasts, but also the stomach. And this is why they're also so intuitive because the stomach is like your emotional brain and maybe the more important brain is, is like the solar plexus is where, is where the sensitivity is. So their stomach is also vulnerable. They have to make sure they eat um, the, the healthy right foods for them that their stomach doesn't get get so upset because it really interacts with with how they with their with their health on an emotional level. So if they have stomach issues, so their emotions are stored there, it works both ways. 
they have an, an energy that can last quite a time. When they lose their energy, like you know, their life force, they they need to rest, but quite fast they g regain their energy again. On the other hand, um, their energy is very much uh, associated with with that how they feel that they are supported with a, a, a kind of material safety in their life. So the more safety they feel on a material level, uh, the, uh, collecting, uh, it's not only about money, it's also collecting the things that they like. They like to collect anything that is of value for them and especially things that are of value for them, but also look uh, prestigious, luxurious, shiny, like that you can show to the outer world, like, look what I have. And I don't mean that in the bad thing. I, it's just nice to show nice things to, to the world, no? And they are not, um, they are they are very uh, royal and loyal with it. They really like to share anything that they uh, gather through their lives. But it really does help their confidence. When they don't have gathered nothing of value for them, it can be a collection, you know, of, of uh, can be a collection of like herbs and, uh, or guitars or anything that is um, that. Oh, a libel. Ah, here it is. Look on my toe. <laughs> I didn't see it. It was a red one. Yay. So, where was I? So, well, it's not, they also like to, again, the family traditions, they like to collect the folklore about it. They like to share this also. Um, they are not wasteful in any way. So when they get out, um, cancer is also about comfort. They like to feel comfortable in their home, in their, in their surrounding with their little group of people. And when they f are too comfortable, they're fine, but they will not immediately maybe start to act to gain more uh, financial material basis that to support them. But when they get very uncomfortable, too uncomfortable, they will really go out and provide for their family and be really royal for them. Um, um, yeah. So very nice to have that there. So... Anything else about that? Give, 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 give. They like to give, 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 give. I have, you know, it's typical. So is that uh, they like to eat good <laughs> and maybe cook and be good at it as well and, and share that and kind of show off because they really like to shine with anything um, of, of that matter. Uh, not to, you know, just like a king, to be kingly and, and you know, or you don't know. Let me collect my notes a little bit one day. So, so I repeat, so they get confidence from having a good collection of material, uh, wealth, income, collections. Uh, they feel feel good with having a lot of books, a lot of, you know, like in the old days, uh, records or CDs, um, anything tangible like having every, anything everything digital they they will not like it so much they like to call it, or stones or or um, you know gold they like to collect gold as well when it comes to their communication and the way they think they can worry a lot um, um, worry about um, the things I just mentioned their their collections their finances their the protection for themselves, for their family, that influence, influences their self-confidence. Um, they are kind of a critical thinker, and but a critical and also like very pragmatical. They uh, want, it's like, I have to go from, from A to B till D to E, and how do I do it? And they like to communicate about that and um, really understand uh, certain skills uh, it's not that they don't like to talk about the big picture and um, the higher meanings and higher truth or why am i here and, and stuff like that they do of course and they have this belief also but um, when it comes to you know the daily thinking and the busyness in life 
in the busyness in life, like what what you're doing constantly, um, uh, you know, uh, going to the shop, going home, going there, they're very pragmatical. I have to do that. I have to do that. I have I have uh, even I have my list, and I need to do this shopping, shopping, shopping. Um, they take care of that, and they can then also be critical when they talk in their way of talking with with friends or um, that li- their surroundings or you know colleagues, teammates, not to. Um, no, no, never to no. Otherwise, um, of course, blah, 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 blah. not never. Just in a good way, not to put anyone down. It's just a way of being practical. Like if you say it blunt, if you do it like that, is no good. If you do it like this, is good. Um, you understand? So when they're worried, can they can become maybe compulsive and really going to the details. Um, which in the good side is that they then can get really good at their skills if they choose something to to work with. Um, also about you know with their uh, what I'll say yeah, like editing or administration, um, some boring stuff that you need to be a, a very detailed for and. Um, to help others, uh, well, the technical parts, they can really focus on that, which is good for their own skills. But when they, uh, they maybe teach somebody else, they will be very going into the detail. And maybe instead of saying, good job, good job, they first say what is what, what can be approved. All right. Anyway, so when we come to their house, Normally, their house will be very lovely um, in the sense of that in their way, it will be or artistic or very balanced or just um, artistic or full of art. Artistic doesn't really have to be or butterfly, um, full of art. That can be their own way of colors that, that match, even if it's orange and green, but in the way they do it, it matches. Um they really need this kind of balance in their house and harmonious surroundings. They will normally be very, without any planets interrupting this area, um, very respectful and like uh, balanced, like even respectful in the way that it's polite in their conversation with their uh, with their family, like with their with their um, family that lives within them with with them in their house. They want to be. They want sweetness at home. They want, uh, um, yeah, peace at their home. And um, even they like little groups. Even when they have family uh, friends coming over, the little group of friends that come to their house, they they usually consider them family, which is very nice when you belong to the little circle of cancer because you have extra families, like friend family. Um. Well, so yes, they they like beautiful, elegant house surroundings, creativity in the family. They um, will get into a relationship, actually, also to have all this together. When they're still in the in in the, in the romance part before maybe before the marriage partner, they can be quite intense. Um, also, the way they express themselves, their true emotional intelligence goes way deep. They they are not, uh, you know, the this cancer energy like, you know, only sweet and protective like motherly. Oh no 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 no. They are very sexual when it comes to their self expression, but. They will not easily show you what drives them and, and and their ideas or their emotions. They really need to trust. And they will, if they do it, let you in. Yep, you're in for it. You can go very intense deep with them. And it can it can be like overbearing in, in, in the in the they are good detectives. So on the negative side, in a in a romantic relationship, they can start to really check it, uh, in, investigate on you, and also with their children, like being very controlling or in more negative in struggle powers even. Or they can um, they don't see it as bad. Like for instance, it's my kids. 
doing some weird stuff and I need to know like what is he is he taking uh, some drugs or and I need to know or or he's hanging out with the wrong friends and they will start to you know open find the password of his computer or you know check in his wallet things and they really penetrate they are the good you know the is is everything is good and not good I don't even like to say good and bad, good and not so good. So they're very passionate. Can be a lot of fun, no? And so they will also then give everything, all of them. And the way they 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 express themselves, once they do express themselves with their lovers, with the with their hobbies actually also, and with um their kids. So yeah, very devoted intense loyal um what else let me see and you need some time with them before they show you the 90 percent of of the of of themselves you know they, they show the 10 percent of themselves um with their hobbies they actually they are interested in human behavior in psychology uh, maybe uh, like you know astrology as well um they are very sensitive to very very sensitive and emotional to to their lovers and to their children and it's a place where they can really have uh, really transform and tra have transformative experiences in their life um it can be so intense that you know uh, the transformative experiences uh, if you take it literal then uh, death can be part of it sometimes you know uh, it's not to scare you but it is possible like um one of your lovers dies or there you have you have an abortion or uh, you know that you choose yourself of course or you have uh, uh, before the child is born the, the the pregnancy ends and and the baby dies within the womb or your your children themselves are very into the the topic of death and ex experiment you know like um, with the id and um in many ways that comes like to that, like yeah thinking about death a lot and it can be very scary for for, for parents so it can it they it is very there can they can be very uh my sentences Saturn in my my third house cusp and conjunct Neptune. <laughs> but I feel a lot. I feel a lot. So what I wanted to say, because it is emotional. They can experience life and death situations with their children. Um, or the child... You know, is thinking about committing suicide and and things like that. So very heavy. Good thing is there's a lot of healing in the same area, so they can heal through their children. They can heal through their romantic partners and through their interest, their self-expression. So a, a lot of growth also there. And if they have too much sexual sexual sexuality that they cannot um convey sport is a good way for them to make it lighter again no ah yes deep healing deep trauma all in the same area uh near death experiences um transformations here healing to their love life artistic thera therapeutic means they're very creative go deep Anyway, what time is it? Yeah, I still have to go out and work. But I really wanted to do it because it's already a long time, Leo, you know. <laughs> and then Saturn delays, delays. So this is so typical. This is Cancer and it's delaying and delaying and delaying. Anyway, Cancer is also midsummer here in the upper part, of course. Um, Europe, North America. And yes. It's high summer, and it really is high summer here. Good summer in Belgium. Yay! All right, where I am. Uh, well, after all this drama, 
what is helping them in their life is um, when they have health problems or problems at work with colleagues, uh, with with uh, endings of contract, with divorce or any other way um, disturbance in their life, they will, like everybody can have it, but they will have some luck and get through it uh, without, you know, um, too much damage. They are kind of lucky there. Um, so there's a lot of positivity when it comes to there. And when they really, you know, stick to something that they really find what they want to do, uh, like a career or a job, they can also be very lucky there and get some very good breaks, uh, which they deserve, of course, there. So they feel that um, they are good in uh, helping, you know, or you know, animals or pets or people that are less fortunate or elderly or, you know, the sick or the more people who are less fortunate in any way, because this is, is really a personal success for them. It, it, it gives, it gives them meaning in their life and prosperity and is good karma. It is kind of a purpose in their life. They really spirit is experience. They, this is why they are so nurturing also they really experience it like a personal success unconsciously of course it's not like say i'm so successful helping others but it's what what's there it's why they find purpose in their life you know serve service to others um sorry checking the clock again saturn time on my third house I'm repeating myself i'm learning while i'm doing this how this works yeah funny Got to love astrology, psychology, yeah, baby. So yeah, still Gemini doing silly. When they get married or having a contract, the person you get children with, spreading my legs, you can see it anyway. They, because they're so emotional and watery and sensitive, they tend to attract a person that's less or not at all, um, which is good for them. It balances them out. Somebody who's very, uh, they are themselves, uh, you know, like I said, very passionate and deep when it comes to their marriage, they will get very responsible and dutiful. And, but they will um, want the same from their partner. So a partner that really takes care of the family also, or maybe financially or do tasks in the house, you know, like, like, uh, a kind of maybe uh, a boss partner um, who delegates, who is rational, who structural, who maybe sets some boundaries for the cancer. Cancer has boundaries, though, but um, because, like I said, cancer, you don't mess around with them. They have boundaries. They have the heart shell, um, you know, with them. So, well, um, the more difficult uh, way it can play out is that it, it can be delayed before they they have a good partner. Most of the time after the 29th, th early 30s, a good partner, I mean, the relationship gets better with time and it's better for them to, you know, really tie the knot and get children or marry or have a, buy a house after 29. It doesn't mean that after 29, you will finally meet that person. You can be with that person since you're 15, but um, the relationship will grow. There will be, there can be some delays, some um, boundaries, uh, things that go wrong, you know. Um, this is what, what uh, this area of their life brings. But on the other hand, once they do, are in this relationship, it is um, most likely that they stay together or forever and ever and ever and ever or a very long time. And it's also the best, if possible, of course, on, under the circumstances, because, you know, charts change a lot with uh, all the other crap in it, <laughs> all the planets and so on and so on. But their basis is, is cancer ones, you know, they want to stay, stay together and have their family and protect them and they don't want them that it gets torn apart and they have to you know leave their kids for a while or you know that no so but also this is normally it will last um also when it when they do break up it, it, it there can be like a very hard time for them following in that 
Um, what else? What else? Yeah, like the partner will also work hard, be very responsible, parental figure, like I said, bossy, but it can be very parental. And or it can be a very professional person that works, 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 works a lot. Well, when I talk, just a little ago talked about all the crises that they can go through, they can be very, 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 very unexpected, unfortunately. It's not something that you see coming, like, you know, your mother has been sick, sick for two years and, you know, the day will come and you're prepared and you did everything you wanted to do. You said everything. No, it's not like that. It's like, bam, in the face, bam, in the face. It's like the world is turned upside down all at once. Um, the, the good thing about uh, cancer energy is that they, in the moment of crisis, they have the capacity to become more detached and the observer. They are so emotional, but when the crisis is so overbearing, they can really like, they need to sit back, detach, become more the observer and see, um, instead of focusing like what they do in their daily thinking, focusing on, on one little thing and the details, they do the opposite. They go more to uh, um, the scientific approach. A um, little bit more uh, aloof, cold. Um, because I think that it's a survival thing. No? When, when the crisis hit, the, you're in the face completely out of the blue. So unexpected crisis or unexpected accidents. Well, accidents most of the time are unexpected, no? But anyway, um, it helps them to, for a scientific approach, so meaning also talk about it in an intellectual way instead of only the emotional way, like really organizing their thoughts into even, not really boxes, but um, is, instead of everything zooming to one area, you zoom out and you see that life is more about that what just happened of course it helps them a lot in a crisis they can detach so yeah what I forgot to say about these un unexpected things like you can call it a crisis but sometimes a crisis is a, is a blessing in disguise no because like unexpected conception like oh my god I am pregnant you didn't see that one coming it does help them so in the communication um like maybe with a professional like a group like instead of with one person with more persons it doesn't have to be all in the same moment like finding a network of different people where you can talk to maybe you just need one but it can help to them to overcome their crisis when it comes to their um their um, self-help, their uh, to grow as a person and how they see the world, um, their higher beliefs. They are not so much into an higher higher. Oh my God! I always say that word wrong. Again, Saturn third house. They are not so much into you know. Um, we have a god or a boss one entity sitting over there and we all have to listen or it's not so much religion like they can believe in the kind of religion but then the religion really has to support their we are all one no boundaries um way of feeling because they really feel they they feel uh, the divine the divinity however you want to call it they probably will not call it easily god um they they see that we have to be good for everybody and mother and nurture each other and ah um what else yeah it's beyond words they really can surrender in their in their higher beliefs, but when it comes to their goals and in life, things can also be more blurry because it goes so fast. They're so emotional and 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 um, also inspired by it. 
um, but to really bring it down um, into the this is why I lose my words <laughs> to really discuss it how can you discuss we are all, all one and uh, we need to you know be compassionate for each other and um, when in daily life that's often not so simple as it as it is as a true core feeling they have um it can come to the point that they self sacrifice them for for this for this feeling because it's not a mental belief it's a is a a belief that they feel and yeah it can for this unity they can sacrifice themselves we're almost there though. stay with me stay with me starting to melt happy i'm doing it today tomorrow is going to be hot the day after even more hot and hot 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 so when they finally do find their career and they stick to it and they go for it they will be they will be known for it they will have their public image with that and they can be seen as doesn't mean how successful they are or not they can be seen as strong leaders in what they do um um people that take initiative that start their projects the the, the downside from themselves is that um when the success um is not fast enough or it is there is the growth is too gradual and too slowly they can they tend to maybe go from one project to another or they 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 try it in a different way with their career instead of just you know keep going with what they were doing um but they for sure want to be independent in their career they're very strong they have a lot of vigor there and they will go after it for sure uh but if it isn't fast enough with enough results that they want because what well, you know a career doesn't mean that you're you're going to be uh, the world leading tennis player or um if you're a tennis player or the world number one painter or anything or you're not going to be you know um steve jobs or whatever it is um no, I lose my thoughts, you know. Anyway, I think you get what I mean. They will really be known for this. This better for them to be independent when it comes to their career. It is possible they still need a job. What I'm trying to say, career doesn't always bring you, especially also for cancer, because they really need um, the financial safety for their confidence. When it comes to their friends, I already said they don't like the really big groups of of um, super. You know, they don't mind to network, but they don't like to be networking in a place where there are like hundred people. They just like the more one on one small group thing. They they're very loyal to their friends that they have. Um, they will be, maybe not be so take being very initiative. Um, to invite you over because they're so private of their normal way of living, but they they do see you as family and you are always welcome there. Uh, maybe you have to invite yourself a little bit more often, or just you know take the initiative to call them. Um, yeah, no, or you, you can have the feeling like well, they don't message, they don't do that, but when you see them and when you're there, you're like you know family for them. Once you're in the circle, you have to be pretty bad to get out of the circle. So it's very long lasting and they enjoy it, you know, spending time, good things of life with their friends, you know, good food, going to a sauna, fire, play, nice, good wine. Anything else there? Well, yeah, they, they can enjoy um, the money that they make from their career in a very earthy way. They want to also keep what they make with that, and they want to keep their friends. They want to be very fixed about it. And then, last but not least, cancer friends. <laughs> Don't touch your hair, Crystal. Crystal. 
yeah. For total surrender, they need some activity. They can do something with their hands, play guitar, play piano, knit, paint, anything with their hands, do exercises with your hands, you know, like mudras or, you know, um, workouts for your fingers. Uh, they can walk, they can chant, sing, mantras, um, positive affirmations, read, write journaling will help them to really surrender and let go of the things we need to let go of you know because in the end of the day you cannot carry and everything with you is like their meditation it's like like you know empty this box open the windows open the roof and get out but you know don't let them do a kind of a vipassana and like only observe your thoughts they, no they they just need a thought and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it or a mantra or you know walking and a mantra or doing you know so something else in hands let me think breathing exercises yes the lungs also breathing exercises walk and just walk and breathe deep and maybe with a friend so that you can communicate this is what helps them to 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 what yeah let go to to get in touch with uh, a uh, part of them that's maybe that they're not aware of themselves, the unconscious, the subconscious more. So, whew, what else? Something else? No, 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 no. Yeah, they can, they can, they can talk in their sleep. So before going to sleep, it's good for them. Actually, also like social media thing, but. Uh, apparently that's not good before you go to sleep but if there's one sign that it might help before they sleep is uh, cancer to be on social media and be active there but I would not never I have a cancer son daughter and I would not say that to her but she tends to do it anyway so short trips is good for them also to relax, to come to the... It's not just relaxing and having a wine on, it's, and, or, you know, relax and having a wine is maybe not a good example because alcohol is not good for relaxing, it activates. So to come into the nearest place of, you know, letting go, even the tree is letting go of their leaves a little bit early. Cancer people... I tend to have some cancers in my life, cancer son, most of them, because I don't know the ascendant of all of them. Let me know your ascendant, my friend, but my cancer son people, yes, I love them a lot. Very, very special people, very courageous, sometimes very moody, not always easy to get along. Hey, you see? It's time to stop. Bye bye. Love to all crazy cancerians out there. I hope, I hope I have the sound now in this uh, in this recording. Leo will follow soon. Yeah. Bye bye.